Welcome back for another one. I'm your girl Kay and I am your style bestie. I'm helping you master your confidence through fashion, style, and beauty. So if those are things that you like, you like a little bit of affordable luxury and a little bit of affordable fashion, go ahead and stick around because that is my vibe. Pretty much it's all the girly things. All the girly things. If you tune into some of my vlogs, you even see a sprinkle of motherhood. Go ahead, make sure you click that subscribe button if you're new. If you are not new here, hey girl, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey twin, where have you been? <laughs> no matter what, make sure you go ahead and tap the bell notification. Lots of instructions, I know, I'm telling you what to do. But tap that bell notification because you don't want to miss my videos. Uh, that's, that's your warning. So. Stick around, today we are doing an accessory haul. If you didn't watch my bag haul, go ahead and watch that. That was my previous video. I showed all of the newest bags that I added to my collection, some black owned, some luxury, and some in that mid-range. Today is all about accessories. So, we are going to chop it up. I have a few like jewelry pieces, and mostly it's gonna be sunglasses, cause you know, I'm a sunglasses girl. I'm a sunglasses girl. And shoes, two things that I do invest in and I've added to my wardrobe. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get into the video, let me just show you what I have on. So this is what I have on today. I just have on um, my favorite Gap jeans they are slouchy i wear these all the time i would not in real life probably pair this together because it's too exposed for me i'd rather something a little more high waisted with a, this crop vest but this is what i'm wearing today um for the purpose of the video and then my necklace is from shop imani jewelry company it's on instagram i tag them all the time it is super high quality i wear it so much i get so many compliments on it um, the vest I bought oversized on purpose. I got it from Zara and I got it in an extra large because I wanted it to be less cropped than it was, but I wanted it to um, be like a little oversized. And I'm wearing just a lacy bra moment. I'm doing a lacy bra moment from Target. One of my favorite lace bras. I have it in white as well. Um, yes, you see my stretch marks. Yes, you see my stomach. I tend to get lots of comments about those things about me showing those things. So let me pop this video here as a friendly reminder. Now before you comment something crazy, okay? You got a slick mouth, but mine is slicker. Every time. Is that a risk you are willing to take? Okay then, act accordingly. Hmm, okay. So, <laughs> let's get back into these accessories, okay? All right, so if you know me and you are not new here, whether it's YouTube or Instagram, I am a sunglasses girl. My outfit is not complete without sunglasses. If I'm late to the function and I forgot my sunglasses, I'm gonna be even later to the function because I'm hitting that U-turn, I'm going back home and I'm getting my sunglasses. And that's if I don't have an emergency pair in the glove box and a second emergency pair in my purse and a third emergency pair in the little uh, pop down right by the rearview mirror, okay? I am committed to my sunglasses. While I love to shop luxury fashion, I am very vocal about the fact that I do shop secondhand, I do shop consignment, and I do shop resale from um, fashion sites like Fashion File. But, well also eBay because they do authentication. But, where was I going with that? Oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Although I like to shop luxury fashion for accessories, I always like eight times out of ten will talk myself out of spending money on a bag like a certain amount of money on a bag okay um and i don't know why i don't know why i don't know why but when it comes to sunglasses take my card and swipe it because i don't care when it comes to my sunglasses they are an investment with that said let's hop into a mini sunglasses haul these are some sunglasses that I have most recently added to my collection. I've shared them here and there on socials, but not quite here on YouTube, okay? I'm gonna start with this Gucci pair that I got from, I think I got them from Off Saks Fifth. Yes, I got them from Off Saks Fifth. Um, and that is where I typically start 
when it comes to my sunglasses. I am going to start with Nordstrom Rack. I am going to start with Off Saks Fifth. I'm also going to shop um, Designer Opticals and I'm also going to shop, what's the other one? I'm drawing a blank, but whatever. So these are my first pair. And they are like a retro oversized frame with a slightly pink tinted lens. The only thing is that the arms of these glasses are very, very, very thin. So you have to be very careful. I'm trying to get the, the G's. They um, have the like little GG's on the side, but the arms are a little thin. I, the glasses are not flimsy, but the arms are pretty thin and like buoyant. So you have to be careful with these. Um, but I do love a gold metal frame and the lens is slightly tinted. I feel like it looks more pink on my face than it does when I'm holding the glasses. I love these, they give retro. They're just so stunning. I just love. They really make outfits pop. I normally wear these when I wear like all white or when I wear like my scarves around my head because it gives like that 70s retro brown sugar vibe for some reason to me. And what I love about these two is something about the case also gets me really excited. So this is the Gucci case. It's like a uh, velvet. And it came with a very pretty uh, dust bag. So this is the dust bag it came with. I use my dust bags, especially for traveling. All right, so let's get into the next pair of um, sunglasses that I got. These are by Carrera. These I got on Amazon, but I found these because of a host. She's a TV host. I think her name is Alicia Renee. Alicia, I don't know. I don't know her name. She literally, she hosts so many different things. I don't, she's an actress too, I guess you could say. I don't know her name. But she had these on in uh, a few of her Instagram reels. And I thought they were so pretty. So these are Carrera. And one thing about Carrera, I feel like Carrera is like a, like if you are familiar with Dita shades, Dita shades are pretty expensive, but they have lots of detail. And I feel like Carrera is almost like a Dita inspired version. Carrera has a name of their own. Um, they have great unisex sunglasses. They have great men's sunglasses. Um, and I feel like these can go for men's as well. Here's some more detail of the shades. You see a little bit more of that gold is just phenomenal. Like I told you, I love a gold frame now. And what else I love um, when I'm looking for sunglasses is I like sunglasses with a really pretty gradient. The gradient is what will make me drool. I will drop that card so damn fast. I love a good gradient. As you can see, these almost give clear at the bottom. The top is like a brown, goldish brown. Um, you'll see it more when I put it on, but it's like goldish brown and then the bottom is almost clear. So my girl Chi, brown girl Chi, she just put me onto the fact that you can swap out your lenses. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take them to Lens Crafters and I'm actually gonna swap out the lenses. They are pretty. I'm not even gonna hold you. They're very gorgeous. I like them a lot, but I want them to be almost clear. Now when I am in the sun, you can see right through them, but I want them to always look like that. So I want these, this color that's down here, I want that at the top and I want the bottom gradient to be almost clear. Like I want an amber color lens and I want the bottom to be clear. Outside of that, they're beautiful. Like they're very well made. I felt like they were very affordable. I think I paid $100 and I, I'd actually seen them cheaper. But again, I got them on Amazon. So everything that is not sold out or that has a link, I will most definitely drop the link in the details. I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. I'm your girl. You know, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I still wanna get the lenses swapped out. Now that I have like a little bit of time this summer, I'm gonna do so. Um, and Brown Girl Chi put me onto that. I also was sunglass shopping in Colorado with um, Brittany, Pockets and Bows. If you follow her, you should. Um, and we were shopping for some sunglasses and the shop there also said that they can customize any glasses and they can make any front like any lens any color you want it to be and all those things i did not know that that was a thing and that places could actually do that so that's what i'm going to do um she says she does it all the time 
If you are not new here, you know that I love, that was my dog if you heard him snoring. You know that I love um, these Mew Mew um, acetate shades. I have them in black and gold and I wear them so damn much. I wear them so much, I need to wipe these off. So um, Fumi Monet, um, she is a creator and she is a part of the uh, Sephora squad. She had been wearing these for a while. So they're the same Mew Mew glasses that I have, but in a different color. And I really love these. Like, I love the shape on me. Like, I grab those black sunglasses more than I grab any sunglasses I have. I have the black and gold version of these. So when I saw her with these, I just kept seeing them and kept seeing them. And I'm like, girl, you know you love those sunglasses so much. Like, you have them in black. You never stop wearing them. This is a really fun pair. You can add some fun sunglasses into your collection now. I got these. And they are like a yellow, like a mustard yellow. And then the lens is like a pinkish red. Um, and then it has the Mew Mew on the side, which is like my favorite little gaudy detail. Are these not the cutest? I feel like that's such a vibe. They are so cute, especially for like summer and spring. Again, I have, I like to wear white a lot in the summer. I wear white dresses and this is a cute, fun detail. Even if I'm like being fun with my fashion and I'm wearing a graphic tee, um, like with some denim cutoff shorts or some saggy jeans and I'm being like, really casual have like a really vibey outfit i think these sunglasses add some interest to the look to the outfit because again i honestly feel like you can wear a white tank top a simple tank top a simple top and jeans and when you throw on the the right accessories specifically a beautiful pair of frames it elevates it elevates the fit it's like it goes from her outfit is cute to that's a person with style. They paid attention to detail. So on to my next pair. These I think are the most recent pair I bought. And these are by Lorve. I've always known about Lorve, but I had not purchased any sunglasses by Lorve. Um, and I don't know why. Just no real reason. I just had it. Um, because none of my friends had Lorve shades so I'd never seen them up close in person. I just didn't know um, anything about them outside of like seeing them on Instagram. But I had bought the Spotlight sunglasses which were like they keep selling out. They are like the most popular pair and I finally got my hands on them and they are mwah, chef's kiss. I mean that with a passion. Um, so I've been checking out Lorve as they drop more. And then I saw somebody post these. I think it was Devana. I can't remember who I saw with these. But these are the world record by uh, Lorve. And that I normally do not go for cat eye type sunglasses or like that small frame. I'm normally an aviator girl or an oversized aviator girl or just a big oversized square type of retro vibe but lately as i have been adding more sunglasses to my collection i'm trying different shapes i think the mew mew shades are what did that for me trying different shapes really just give the outfit a different element especially if my hair is in a different style different shapes work so these are the world record they are so pretty they have an orange um tent to the lens but the entire lens isn't the same color you can't tell here but you can see here it's almost like a sunset gradient which i love it has the um lorve on the side and they are really great quality her sunglasses are great quality oh yes baby yeah yeah we like that we like that right now uh -huh. i feel like i just have to always wear them like this but these are a vibe, honey. These are so vibey. Like, they just give a whole nother. These make me feel like I'm hip. Like, while all the Gen Z people, like, they're, like, bringing back the Y2K fashion. I'm not doing that. I lived that era, and it's over for me. But these help me feel like I am up to date. I really love these so much. And I got these on sale, actually. So, I love these. These are a vibe. Again, these are the world record. 
by Lorve. Love, baby. Yeah. Yeah. See how my confidence goes up a notch? Two notches. When I put my sunglasses on. Yeah, I know I'm not the only one. Ooh. I feel like I had the same reaction when I put on the spotlight glasses in the video I did with those. Okay, so let's put the Lord vase back. And then I have a similar shape here from Zara. I, how did I even come across these? Oh, I just came across these randomly on the Zara website, honestly. And they sold out fast. I actually came across them on the Zara website randomly. Then, and they were sold out when I came across them. So I signed up for the notifications, got notified and got them. So I know you've seen this style before. If not at Zara, you've seen them somewhere. Um, Be Iconic has a pair similar to this. I actually think the Be Iconic ones are better because the stones around the lenses are more scalloped and like, it's just, they're a little more bigger and exaggerated. So I really love these. I normally wear them kind of like this to give that like Lisa Monet vibe. Um, and I wore these on Mother's Day. That was the first and actually last time I've worn them. I haven't worn them since, but I really love them. They are very different for me. They are very out the box for me. They are very, again, different for me. This is not something I would normally um, gravitate towards, but they are super well made. I want to show you the inside of them. Yeah, so like they're pretty well made. Like that double rim there. They're not flimsy at all. And so it's actually um, a gold frame and then the stones are on top. The full frame is gold and then the stones are on top. It's kind of hard to tell what color the frame is. You would think that they are silver, but they're not. Let's put those away. And then the last pair of sunglasses that I wanna share were actually gifted to me. So if you saw my Mother's Day vlog, you would see that my good, 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 good girlfriend purchased a pair of Chanel sunglasses um, while she was traveling for work. She was in Paris. She bought herself a pair of Chanel sunglasses. I tried them on at brunch. This might have been last year, I think. And I love them, they were so cute. Um, I even contemplated getting them for myself. And then fast forward to our Mother's Day, like staycation we had. I think, thinking I'm showing up surprising her with a gift, she showed up and surprised me with the ultimate gift. She gifted me the Chanel sunglasses. What about your friends? That's a friend, that, that's a sister, okay? She gifted me the Chanel frame, she said, because she just does not put them to you. She just doesn't wear them as often. She's like, they're just not really her. I had to share the story behind them because I think it's just different when you buy something, a piece, something you invest in, and it has a story behind it. Like I was telling Brittany when we were um, in Vail and she bought a pair of Montclair sunglasses and a pair of Dita sunglasses. And I was like, girl, you're gonna be like, I remember that time I bought these Montclair, these are my Montclair sunglasses from Vail when I was in Vail. Like the story behind it, if you're a fashion girl, it all makes sense. You get it, you get it, you get it. Y'all get it. But so she gifted me these and they're just like, these sunglasses are just rich to me. Like they're oversized square. They have the pearl detail on the side. They also make these without pearls. I think you can get them with stones as well. I don't remember, but I'm quite sure I know what I'm talking about. Um, these I wear whenever I wanna feel rich. Like whenever I'm like, just, you know, you know. I'm a lady of luxury. I'm a lady of leisure. These are good. They are good and oh, the square is is oversized enough. Like when I get oversized sunglasses, I go big. But these are perfection. These are good. I think I proposed after she gave me these. <laughs> I got down on one knee. <laughs> so those are all the sunglasses. But we got something else. Okay, because I just got some glasses, like actual glasses. I needed new glasses because my favorite pair, like my like my best quality pair, my kids broke them. And I had, I had not been able to get into Warby Parker to get an eye exam. So school got out, 
work is over. I had a little bit of time before I left for my trip and I went to the one in Columbia Mall and I was able to get my eye exam really quickly. And I already knew which eyeglasses I wanted. I wanted the Kimball um, and the Marzipan, I think that's what you how you say it, the Marzipan Tortoise. So I was actually influenced to get this specific pair by a creator named A. Wilkie. She is on YouTube. She's very popular um, on YouTube and I follow her on Instagram. She has these, I feel like these are her signature glasses and the tortoise on these are undeniably beautiful. They are very reminiscent of the pair that my kids broke. That pair was from Diff Eyewear and it was the Harry Potter I don't watch Harry Potter. I don't know nothing about Harry Potter. But it was the Harry Potter collab and I got a lot of compliments on those glasses. I wore them every single day. So these are the Kimball from Warby Parker. I still don't know what I look like outside of when I tried them on in the store because they were delivered this morning right before I pressed record and I have contacts in. So once I put my glasses on, it's worse than being blind if you already got contacts in. So I don't even know what these look like on me, like for real. It's like, I can't see nothing. I literally see shape, but these are the glasses. And I just felt like when I put them on, they were giving smart. I could just take her seriously. But they're very similar to the other ones that I have. So I really love these a lot. Thank you, A. Wilkie, for uh, putting your girl on. And I am OG Barbie Parker. I bought my first pair of glasses from Barbie Parker, I think in 2015. And so they're affordable. They are on trend. They are high quality. I love Barbie Parker. The um, eye exam was, per I mean, it was, it was easy. It was just a seamless, easy experience. And the in-store shopping experience is pretty, like it feels very luxurious to me. It really does. They have so many pairs you can pick from. And then what I also love is that you can get them in wide, narrow, um, or whatever, based on your face frame, I mean face shape, I'll say. I got another pair of eyeglasses from them. I did go in knowing specifically I wanted the Kimball glasses, but I also was open to buying um, one or two more pair of eyeglasses. When she told me that I could turn even their sunglasses into glasses, that's when I was like, oh, okay, well you just opened up way more options. So I tried on this pair of sunglasses and these are called the Jeanette, but I asked to turn them into glasses and what I love about it is that they can pop the lenses out for you. They can pop lenses, like she could pop some lenses and a pair of eyeglasses for me so I, if I wanted to imagine them as sunglasses, I could. So these were sunglasses. And these are the Jeanette and she popped out the lenses, put clear lenses in for me so that I could see them and I really love them. Again, I don't know what they look like right now looking at y'all because I got my contacts in. So it's hard to tell. But when I tried them on in the store, I we both instantly fell in love with them. Um, yeah, they're cute. They're great. I wear all my glasses to work. Um, but they're really cute. I love them so much. Um, and shout out to Warby Parker for making the process so seamless and so easy. And to be honest, Warby Parker is very, 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 very affordable. I've also been very vocal about the fact that I will spend, I'm more inclined to spend money with a brand that takes their social responsibility serious. And one thing that made me order from Warby Parker back in 2015 was that for every pair of glasses that they sell, they also donate a pair and they still do the same. So it says for every pair purchased, a pair is distributed to someone in need. At the time when I first ordered from Warby Parker, they were, um, well, they didn't have any like stores. You had to order online and they were donating pairs to children in school. But now they also donate to adults who are in need of eyeglasses as well. So I will forever be a Warby Parker customer. They're also very affordable, like very affordable. Those are the sunglasses and eyeglasses or eyewear that I have added to my collection recently. Now let's get into shoes. Let's get into shoes. Cause I actually feel like my wardrobe has really been lacking when it comes to shoes. So let's start with this pair here. These are so fun, aren't they? They are so luxe and so fun. 
So my same girlfriend that I told you about that gifted me the Chanel glasses, um, while we were on our Mother's Day staycation, she had these shoes and I absolutely loved them. Like I put my foot in them and I was in love. I was in love. They have a little kitten heel. The only thing is, so they're from Zara. She found them at a Zara in New York while she was traveling for work. And um, I was on the hunt for them. The inside is like satin. They ha they're pretty furry. And then I also love that the toe is just slightly pointed. So I tried hers one and I fell in love. So it was only a matter of time before I found them. And I found these on Mirakari. And they were new, they're brand new. Never been worn. The original price was $89.90. I think I paid like $120. So it, was, it wasn't that much of an upcharge and that is what made me get them. So I love these. I don't quite know how I'm gonna style them yet, but I just, I had to have them. I got these a little while ago and I actually feel like I could have sized down. Hers were a size eight. I am a size nine. When I tried hers on, I was shocked that they actually fit. And I mean comfortably fit. But I was like, I'm still by my size and I actually could have sized down, but either way, they're stunning. I can only imagine how I'm gonna style these. Okay, the next pair I got is from Steve Madden. I bought these directly from Steve Madden. I first saw them on Macy's, but they were sold out in my size on Macy's, so I went directly through Steve Madden. And here's that shoe. It's a slingback, it gives me Dior vibes. And it's nude, like you can see through it. And it's actually pretty comfortable. I love this shoe. So here it is. Um, it's so pretty and you can see the flesh through it. So I love that. Here is the strap detail. This has the perfect point. The heel is not too high at all, but it's high enough to not give grandma, if that makes sense. And then it has the bow detail here, which is just so dainty and cute. You can kind of see the interior of the shoe here. I love these. Um, I think I needed a really grown woman pair of shoes. So like if I'm wearing a suit, if I have to do something for work, if I have um, a speaking engagement, I have spoken um, on like panels or things for work before. So this is necessary. And sometimes you need a black shoe or a nude shoe for like dressing up. And I think this can double as both. Super cute, super dainty, and they are comfortable actually. So again, I can't tell you how much I paid for those Steve Madness, but I can tell you they're worth the price. I think they were 109 and they're worth every penny for me. The next pair is just a very basic pair of gold sandals. These are from Zara. I had been into chunky sandals and noticed I didn't have any just flat, regular thong sandals. Um, my husband and I are going on vacation in the fall. And on top of that, I mean, I just need them to wear with like all of my cute little dresses or even just throw on with some linen um, pants. For the summertime, you just always need a pretty cute flat. And if you don't want like a sandal that's constantly flopping, I think this is a little less I don't wanna say less casual, but it's just a little, uh, it's a better option, I'll say. So it has the ankle, I, I haven't even worn them yet. It has the ankle strap and then it has the part that goes over your foot and then the thong piece, of course. And I got these in a size nine from Zara. These were, I think 45.90, pretty affordable. While we're talking about gold shoes, here's a pair I got from Macy's. They are by Mango. I bought this for my brand trip because we were going to be wearing, I was gonna be wearing an orange dress and um, I had bought a bag from Mango through Macy's and I saw these and I was like, oh, these may be perfect. Like they look comfortable and the heel isn't too high. I like the mirrored gold there. Um, and then also what I like about these shoes is that it doesn't have, let's put one down. It doesn't have that one thin strap that goes across the toes. Baby, that is br brutal. I know because I opted not to take these on the trip because I didn't have enough space in my carry-on. And I ended up taking a pair that did have just a thin strap across the toe. And honey, my baby toe was burning. Burning! She was burning. 
Um, so I kind of wish I had, had taken these. Another creator also wore these on the trip and she wore them more than once. They went with a few of her outfits. I think these were about $69, but they are easy to walk in and they actually are comfortable. The heel is not giving kitten. It's not giving grandma. It's tall, just tall enough. Um, and it is a really cute shoe. I am gonna keep these because you never know if you are, if I'm going to a wedding, if I'm going to, I feel like this is a great shoe to wear to like someone's wedding um, or something like that. So, kept them, haven't worn them yet. The second to last pair of shoes that I wanna show you are from Tory Burch. I got these during the Tory Burch semi-annual sale. If you don't shop that semi-annual sale, girl, you are losing out. Speaking of the semi-annual sale, before I show you the shoes, let me show you what else I got. I got this, um, I upgraded my card case. I have a red card case by Tory Burch, um, but this one was on sale and I wanted to kind of upgrade it and I really like it. It was only like $70, I think, but it has this detail here. It doesn't come apart. This one I feel like has more give than my red one. I have a red quilted one. It has, this one has more give. The red one took a little while to break in. But on to the shoes. I have these shoes, these are the Eleanor flat sandal. I have them in cream with the gold Tory Burch um, symbol. Even before the cream, I wanted the cognac color. And then even before that, I wanted this croc color. I think Tashira has these from Politics and Fashion, but these went on sale on the sale and I, it was a no brainer I was gonna get them. Haven't worn them yet, but here they are. They are, girl, they are stunning. They are prettier in person than they look online. The cro oh, it's like, it's like embossed, but it's like patent leather. And then of course this um, gold Tory Burch symbol is just undeniably beautiful. That's what makes the shoe. These are far more comfortable than I thought that they would be. Because they are a dressier flat sandal, I thought, and you know, and this part is like thin, thinner than I'll say the Miller sandal, which is the most popular, uh, that flip flop, the most popular sandal they have. I have a few of those and those are comfortable and they actually have lasted me years and years and years and years and years. So if y'all's are breaking, I don't know where y'all walking to. Y'all must be walking on cobblestone and through the mud to New Mexico and back home every single day. Cause mine ain't never broke. And I've had, I had a black patent leather pair of the Miller flats at least four years. I ain't even gonna hold you. So what happens is some of y'all, y'all keep y'all Tory Burch Miller flats or sandals until all of this starts to wear off. What you think gonna happen, girl? You, the soul is leaving. It's only a matter of time before that strap give out too, boo. What do you, what did you think was gonna happen? Y'all be wearing them to the beach, y'all be wearing them to the pool, they be sitting out in the heat. Y'all be getting chlorine water all on them. You don't take care of your stuff. You wear those Miller flat sandals like they Ugg slippers. What did you think was gonna happen? You walk your dog in them flip flops. As for me, I do wear mine to work. I walk and stand all day long, seven, eight hours straight, up and down steps, outside for recess, back inside. I ain't never had a Tory Burch sandal give out on me. So I don't know what y'all doing, but I digress. I had to have these. I would buy these again and again and again. The sale price was so low. I never saw them go that low, so I had to have them. Um, because they're like originally two something. I think, I think I've seen these go as low as 120. Very much worth it. Very much worth it. Especially if you're a flats girl anyway, because you want to, sometimes you want a flat that's a little dressier. It's like, I still want to give the effect of a heel and I don't want my shoe to take away from my outfit, but I want to be comfortable. Cop them. I would buy them again. I buy them in every color they make them in. I love them. Now my last pair of sandals are a chunky slide that I mean, I'm not surprised that I love them because I have the Steve Madden Maven sandal. I think that's what they're called, but they're this chunky sandal. And then I did a partnership with Walmart. Walmart sells Madden Girl, which is also an extension of Steve Madden. So of course, when I saw these, I got them because I knew that I loved the Steve Madden ones so much that I would love these too. And the quality on these are good because I wear these down and they still look brand new. I've had them for at least a month, at least, maybe longer. And I've worn them every single day since then. Every single day since then, I love them. They are so, so, so comfortable. 
So if you want the leather ones and you don't want to pay the $89 for them from Steve Madden, go ahead on over to Walmart. Well, via my link that is. <laughs> Going over to Walmart and get the Madden Girl version. I have seen them at Target. I know people say that they have them at Target. But I'm telling y'all, all the dupes don't be duping. I'm going to say that again. And I'm going to get a little closer. All the dupes don't be duping. And I mean that. As dramatically as I said it, that's how much I mean it. Some look cheap. Like, let's just say what it is. I don't care if it looks close. Oh, they got the same. It ain't the same. Stop saying that. It's not a dupe, it's not the same. These are. First of all, they're by Madden Girl, which is an extension of Steve Madden. So they're gonna be as close to the original pair as possible. I can't say I'm, I'm a fan of the Target ones. It's not the same to me. It's, it's the same style, but it's not the same to me. That's just me. Whatevs. So if I made you laugh, go ahead and click. <laughs> Go ahead and click the like button. I know me and all my drama, I'm such a Libra if you haven't already noticed. But if I made you laugh, if this was something you loved and enjoyed, go ahead and hit the like button. Also let me know in the comments what else you wanna see. If you wanna see me style this stuff, I can do that, girl. That's what I'm here for. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. But thank you for rocking with your girl. I had a lot of fun doing this with you. So come on back next week, bestie. We got some more style to get into. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.